RDPS should not be the standard metric on FF logs. Instead, it should be ADPS, and I will explain to you why. What's up, guys? I'm Dai, and in this video, I'll explain to you why RDPS should not be the standard on FF logs and why ADPS is the better metric. If you are in favor of RDPS, let me know why in the comments and let's have a chat about it. Why do we even have RDPS and ADPS? RDPS was introduced in Shadowbringers to combat the growing concern about padding one's DPS with the new dance partner buff. The parsing meta would just be whoever has the dance partner buff wins. RDPS or Raid DPS hope to create a fair metric by increasing your own powers by giving the other players raid buffs and thus increasing their damage and your RDPS. ADPS stands for Adjusted DPS. And instead of adjusting your pass by calculating how much DPS you added to other players with raid buffs, ADPS was mostly the old DPS metric. Only that single target buffs like the dance partner or the Astrologian card buff would be excluded. The creator of Half of Lux ran a poll and asked the players what the new default metric should be. The poll was very close and the players could not explicitly decide on which of them should be the new standard. RDPS won with 2% and so it was chosen to be the new standard for now and still is to this day. At first people were happy that the new dance partner buff didn't ruin the whole leaderboard. However, shortly after the first ratio was released and players saw if they got into a party with weaker DPS, their RDPS and therefore the ranking would suffer because players didn't use their buff windows optimally. So even if you had a perfect run with a perfect rotation, your RDPS was slower because of other players. Let's look what RDPS actually is. It shows us your damage minus damage gained by other player buffs plus damage your buffs gave other players. As a non-buff class such as Samurai or Tank, it only shows your damage minus the damage you gained from other buffs. My point is this, when optimizing your damage, you want to take into account the timing of raid buffs and line up your burst with them. So when you do the most damage in your rotation, it aligns with all the raid buffs provided by your party and by yourself. This is promoted by ADPS, not RDPS, as RDPS is ignoring all raid buffs as they have no impact on your powers. The counter argument I read the most is when playing in a puck it feels unfair to get a low pass because other players are not lining up their raid bars properly. RDPS technically solves this problem because when someone misaligns their raid buffs, your pars is not affected by it. But that is also where it fails. When you play a job that provides raid buffs and the players in your group do not properly align their bursts in your buff window, you gain less DPS from them and your pars is lower. To come to a conclusion why RDPS is bad. RDPS doesn't reward a player for playing optimally. It rewards you for being selfish and this is where ADPS comes into play. Yes, ADPS is not perfect but is by far better than RDPS with the sole reason that it promotes the players to play optimally instead of playing selfishly. A high RDPS pass almost always has lower actual damage than a high ADPS pass. Because the skill in ADPS is to hold your burst for a few seconds so it aligns with all the raid buffs. And this is not promoted by RDPS and therefore making the player worse over time. So there you have it, all the information I could think of. Why we should have ADPS as the new default metric and not RDPS. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. I would appreciate it if you leave a like if you liked the video or a dislike if you hated it. Also, I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel because I'm planning on making a bunch of videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.